The next fitting to be made would be a transition. In this case, we're going to transition this 8x12 duct down to a 6x12 duct. So we will be bringing the top side of the duct down 2 inches. Start with the duct. We always make our fittings from the female end. The air is going to be coming this direction down the duct and always be exiting out the female end of the duct. Since I want to bring this down two inches, all I need to do is measure down two inches here. I'm going to measure back 12 inches. When we make transitions, we like to make the slope of the transition no steeper than 2 and 12. So since this is a 2 inch change, we bring the duck back or bring the uh, line back 12 inches. I do the same thing on this side. I come down 2 inches. I'm going to come back 12. Draw my line. And one thing I always tell everybody is turn the duct back on the surface like this. Look and make sure that your line is on the top here. And then when you roll the duct over the lines on the top there. Once you do that, now we need to cut the duct. So the first thing I'll do is cut through the facing. Down that line. I'll turn the duct. Cut through the facing down this line. And now I need to cut through the insulation. It's important now that we know how this, this board was grooved. We need to know which panel has a butt edge and which panel is shiplap. If you look inside the duct, and if I pull the duct apart, you can see that this is the shiplap panel and this is the butt edge. So what I need to do now is take the cutsaw tool, and the cutsaw tool as a special tool that was developed. Uh, we use it for this fitting. We would also use this tool if we wanted to cut the duct to length. I could cut the duct to length and maintain a male and female shiplap in that cut. So the next thing I need to do is set the tool into the duct and the critical part here is get the orientation right. Since I pop that up, I'll show you that the tool goes in like that. Normally you wouldn't see that. So the way to remember that is this part of the blade goes towards the inside. Now you take the tool, line it up on that knife cut with the wood down to the surface of the foil, and you just simply pull straight down that line, and then work it back out. And now we're going to pop this piece out, and I'll pull that piece out Go ahead and take this off. I'll turn this over and do the same thing. I'll reorient my tool. I'll put the cutting, the lower part of the cutting blade towards the center of the duct, the wooden handle on the foil, hold the tool perfectly straight up and down, and we pull out the scrap. Now we take our knife and take off this extra insulation. Now if I roll the duct over, you see when I push this down, this panel drops into that shiplap that I just cut and supports that panel. So I take the duct, get my stapler, and I use that triangular flap as a stapling flap. Put staples in.
taping this joint, rub the tape down well. We're going to roll the duct over and staple this other side. Now we've taped this, we now have our finished transition. The nice thing feature with the modular duct construction is because we have shiplap grooving, we have a good tight joint here. We can take a finished section of duct, go out to the job, and then make our fittings at the job with a simple set of tools. So we now have a 12 by 8 duct going to a 12 by 6 duct.